Creating social media clips that help blow up your podcast is one of the most important tasks in podcasting. What if I told you that there was an extremely easy way to do this with the click of a button? Yep, that's right. AI is changing the game for podcasters that want to grow and promote their content. Hey everyone, if you're new here, this is the Riverside YouTube channel. We have a bunch of videos all about helping you with video content creation and creating and growing your podcast. So if you're in the market for some great insights on the podcasting and video content creation world, then go ahead and click that subscribe button. So podcast clips, why? You see them online everywhere from top trending podcasts like Girls Gotta Eat and Jay Shetty's On Purpose. There's also this new podcast called The 505 Podcast and I swear they post like three clips a day and their show is just blowing up. These are the secret sauce to skyrocketing your podcast growth in addition to having good high quality content. To capture high quality content, it's important to use a platform that prioritizes this, like Riverside. Riverside will allow you to record your podcast episodes over the web using whatever equipment you hook up to your computer, or even just by using the app on your phone. To learn more about how to create high quality content using Riverside, head to the video linked above. Okay, so Riverside has this crazy feature called Magic Clips. This feature uses AI to skim through the transcript of your episodes and take the most informative and engaging parts and turn them into clips optimized for social media. So what you would do is you would record your episode on Riverside, I'll link a video above on how to do that, and then you would head to the recording page. You'll see this magic clips button here. Simply press that and it will give you up to 20 short clips of your episode. Now the amount of clips that you get depends on the length of your episode and this feature works best with episodes longer than 10 minutes. Okay, so let's go into one of these clips. This is what the clip looks like by default, but there are a few hacks that you can do in order to make the content your own. With the original split screen view of the speakers, you can either show just the speaker's face or you can show the full view of the camera. So you would head out to layout, select grid with gaps and keep aspect ratio. Now this gives you a nice space in between speakers where you can add your captions. So that brings us to hack number two, which is adding custom captions to your clips. Navigate to the captions button and choose the way that you want them to look. Under the color button, you can add the hex code of your brand's color to make sure that your captions stay consistent with your brand, or you can choose one of the Riverside colors. You can also change the font, and you can change the size if you'd like. You can correct these captions by hovering over the word you'd like to correct, selecting correct, and typing in the word that you'd like it to be. Make sure you press correct at the end to make sure that it corrects the final transcript. Now something very important when creating social media clips is making sure that they're fast paced and have no awkward silences. Sometimes in podcast episodes, there are awkward silences where people are finding their words. During a clip, you want those eliminated. This is extremely easy with the remove silences feature. So head up to this magic tools button and press remove all silences. Now you can see in this clip right here, there actually are no silences, so I don't have any to remove. However, if there were silences in your clip, you would have the option to remove all of those silences with the click of a button. Now you can add a background to your clips to keep your branding consistent on social media. Head to backgrounds and you can choose one of the Riverside backgrounds or you can upload your own. To create this, head to canva.com. You can create a free account. Head to custom size and you want to create a canvas that is 1920 by 1920 pixels. This is going to make sure that this background will work on all different aspect ratios of your clip. Select the canvas and head to the color tool and you can change the color to whatever color you'd like it to be. You could also add a gradient by selecting the gradients down at the bottom or if you want to add a pattern, you can play around with Canva's platform and you can find a pattern that you'd like to use as your background. I'm going to go with our brand color. When you're done, select share, download, change it to a JPEG and download your background. Now head back to Riverside and you can upload that background to the backgrounds option. Now you see the background of my clip has changed to match our branding. Now maybe you want your clip to not be split screen and you want each speaker to take up the screen as they talk. Head up to layout on the top menu and select full frame AI. You can move your captions around here so they're not covering the face of the speaker and now AI will switch between whoever's talking on the screen. 
The next thing you can do is remove one speaker from your clip. So maybe you have somebody in the background going, mm hmm, uh huh, yep, okay, and you want to eliminate them completely. Head to the tracks button on the top menu and you can deselect whoever you'd like to eliminate from that clip. Now let's say you have just one person on screen and you want to add a lower third that says their name. You can do this on Riverside by using the add a logo feature, which you can also use to add a logo. Head over to Canva and create a canvas with the dimensions 400 by 225 pixels. Now you can design the lower third. So what I would do is head to elements, select rectangle, make it into a rectangle of course, and I'm going to design this like a lower third within this canvas. So I've kept my brand colors and I'm going to type my name and design this with my brand font and make it nice and big so it's easy to see. Now head to share, download, Export it as a PNG and make sure to select transparent background if you have any white space. Now head back to Riverside, head to logo, and upload that lower third. Now you can move that to the bottom of your clip so you have a lower third with your subject's name on it. Now let's turn this back to a split screen view and delete the logo for the next hack. Okay, so we're back to the beginning. Now let's say you want this exact same clip in a different aspect ratio. Say you're posting the same clip to Facebook and to TikTok. Export your current clip. It will take a few minutes to export and head back to the recording page. You'll see here that it says exporting. Once it says exported, click the three dots at the top of the clip and select duplicate. Edit the duplicated clip and you can change the aspect ratio. Now let's say you edited a podcast episode externally. You didn't record it on Riverside, you didn't edit it on Riverside, but you still want to use the Magic Clips feature. Design the way you want your clips to look externally. You can see here I've used DaVinci Resolve to design my clips. If you're looking for vertical clips, design the full video podcast vertically. You want the full episode of your podcast to look exactly how you'd want each clip to look. If you want to learn how to edit your podcast externally on different editing platforms, you can head to the playlist linked above. Now you want to upload that full file to Riverside. View recordings under the studio where you normally record your podcast and you'll see an upload button. Here you can upload your full video podcast that you just designed externally. Now once that clip is uploaded, if you did upload it in a vertical aspect ratio, you'll see it looks a little funky from this screen, but once you press magic clips and they turn out in a vertical aspect ratio, they'll look normal. Creating social media clips of your podcast can greatly enhance your podcast growth and your podcast reach. With the help of AI tools like Riverside's magic clips feature, you can easily generate these social media clips optimized for different platforms. By following the hacks that I mentioned, you can make your clips visually appealing on brand and consistent across your various social media channels. If you liked this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And before you go, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss another video from Riverside. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Bridget and I'll see you in our next video.